All right, hello everyone. Welcome. Welcome back to Costumes TV. We are done. We uh, we're gonna get to that in a second because we gotta do a course correction. But welcome back to Costumes TV. We've got a bunch of stuff we're gonna talk about because I tried something new this week and I had a lot of fun doing it. I hopefully that continues. We're gonna talk about that a little later. But first, something I want to mention because so since season one release, season one released at the start of I don't know, it was like five weeks ago is when the actual season released, right? So technically, I would say that we are done week five, right? However, the Mythic Plus season started a week later, and I've started tracking all my Mythic Plus runs now because I've started doing that the week at one one, two, three, four in my tracking sheet doesn't line up with my videos. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have a course correction starting this. We're going to say that when Mythic Plus opened, that is when the season actually started. Not the first week where we had delves and the heroic stuff. No, 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 none of that matters, right? Mythic Zeros, no, 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 that's not a season. So officially we're now saying that Mythic Plus is when the season starts, meaning last week we finished the real week four, okay? So last week is actually week four. And that's where we're starting today, right? So we got a couple of things to talk about though. Let's, first of all, I'm just I'm just gonna jump right in, right? Because I don't have a lot, I hope, to go over today. First of all, let's take a look at the death. What happened on the death night? We did a bunch of keys like we said we would. We actually ended up getting some pretty decent IO and some gear upgrades. So first we're gonna talk about what gear upgrades we got. So well, we got Mythic Track shoulders from right, upgraded right to the top because they're Mythic Track, so why would I not do that? And then we ran a 10 Necrotic Wake. We ended up timing it. I'm gonna have the video posted uh, later this week. And when we timed that key, the best in slot ring, the crit verse ring that we have drops from there. Well, I didn't get it. However, the DH I was running with didn't need it, but he traded it to me. Not only did we time the 10 Necrotic Wake, we also, which you should, say, you should also see that video because the third boss was we almost failed with it by the end there it was insane and then we got the rings and we upgraded that all the way because it is our best assault ring so we got two huge gear upgrades bringing the death knight up to 226.06 we ended last week at 624, right? So nice two item level upgrade. And like, we still got gear I need to upgrade, which I'm waiting to do until we check what we get in our vault. And then switching gears from that, let's quickly talk about how we did with our IO. So quickly taking a look at our IO from last week, we started the week at uh, 2374 and we finished the week at 2521, which is a beautiful 100 and 50 ish points 147 something like that we got quite a bit of points last week so let's quickly just touch on what we completed we did that 10 necrotic wake i talked about that one actually got us to the 2400 mark is 21 points then we did a nine grim batol which gave us 33 points oh that sun is bright and it is directly in my eye shouldn't have looked at the sun i can't see anything oh man that is so bright we did a 10 era Kara, which gave us 23 points as well and then we did a 10 stone vault now i can't wait to post that one i was so excited to get that stone vault done had a couple rough beginnings but we ended up timing it anyway so i can't wait to show you guys that video and then the one key i'm really proud of which like i thought this key was going to be impossible and challenging but we ended up getting a 11 grimble toll time like i was i was sweating by the end of this key like no word of a lie i was absolutely sweating we had a couple couple deaths i don't think we had any wives but we had deaths the one the rogue in our group was getting destroyed i'll show you that video as well i have that coming out on uh, either thursday or friday of this week so we got 40 points for that what actually brought us over the 2500 mark we are now 2500 on the dk uh, I would like to still push the 10s and see if I can get new 11s. We did try our first 12 and oh my god it hurt so bad we brought uh, an og friend of mine and i just think overall like our damage may have been a little low uh no fault of the ogs whatsoever i just think like it was so unforgiving like the puddles from the mists first boss if you step in it you're dead it is just an instant death right i was able to find some of the ad packs and stuff like that so overall like it was an okay beginning of the key but i think like we probably should have went dev from the beginning and then kind of see how that went just to have that extra damage so i maybe i'll get to try a couple more of those down the road but we'll see okay now that we've gotten rid of the sun let's talk about some of the other things with the 2500 io you actually get this this thing here the luminous nurubian catalyst stone infuse your armor with a faint echo of the power of the depths of nurubar unlocking additional visual effects for certain nurubar palace class set appearances so we're gonna hit this button i have no idea what it's gonna do what is this i got a headpiece wait you get i'm so confused so did i get a headpiece for it i have no idea what this thing did in other news let's just kind of continue on from there then let's jump into the death knight's vault we're going to open it in frostback let's see what he has he'll have the two raid mythic and one heroic and he'll have three mythic tens done so he should have a pretty decent vault but once again we got the same head last week it came with avoidance this week it comes with a prismatic socket not bad this may be worth catalyzing haste verse with a socket right so okay 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 not bad not bad not bad uh, we're looking at some feet haste mastery feet would definitely be better in regards to stat 
stats, but again, they're just feet. Let's uh, let's hold off on that one. Continue on, hero track chest. Yeah, whatever. We got another pair of mythic track feet. Crit haste. Again, haste doesn't really matter to us. We have a haste versus ring. The haste is useless to us, but we do have our best in slot trinket at mythic track. That's actually really good. So even though we could get our neck at mythic track, this headpiece with the socket one saves us getting a socket later. Two, we can catalyze it, and three, the head actually comes from the silken court. So this week, you know what? Fine. I will take the headpiece so it doesn't haunt me anymore. Hopefully, we don't get it in the following weeks. And let's see what we actually get for our key. We're going to actually catalyze this and upgrade it right away. And we have an 11 stone vault to start. This is the orb week this week. And then after a quick upgrade, it just got us up about 0.82 high levels. We're at 626.88 to start the week. Okay. And next up, we have our warrior. The only thing the warrior got last week, we did a couple of keys on him, but the only thing he got was a 610 weapon when he ran his 7 Necrotic Wake. Surprise! So he's 600.88, didn't do much on him. Uh, we're just going to open the vault in our uh, protection spec. I don't really expect a lot. So, I mean, we get a trinket. I don't... Uh, refraction module. Basically, you get a nice little shield for 50% of the damage taken up 2.2 million. This may occur every minute. So that's not bad. If this actually procs often, this will be a pretty nice shield to have. I mean, it's a huge upgrade anyway over the trinket we had, bringing us up to 601.69. Uh, and I just quickly want to touch on the warrior last week. Last week with the devour affix, it is the healing absorb affix. Now I ran uh, bitter immunity. Bitter immunity basically dispels any uh, resource. 20% of my health instantly removes diseases, poisons, curses, any of that stuff, right? So I ran that last week to help. It has a three minute cooldown. So realistically, it doesn't really do much for the affix. Um, and what I noticed is depending on the healer I was running with, it I was terrified for my life. Like we did a seven necrotic weight. It was a 45 minute key. And it just like we, I kept like, I wasn't, I wasn't dying per se but my health kept dropping lower and lower like and i was i was fighting for survival i was using impending victory to heal myself i was using even my bag of tricks as a vulpira throwing it on myself to get that little bit of healing out uh last stand anything i could and i was using it so often it was, i was really afraid for my survivability um i don't know if that's basically because the healer wasn't getting the affix dispelled fast enough or healed fast enough but it was a little concerning most of the keys i did actually on my warrior felt really really rough right so compared to going from a dk to the warrior last week affix felt really painful on my warrior i'm gonna try to experience them across more tanks as well we're gonna talk about that in a little bit but yeah that's kind of what the war felt like last week um i do hopefully will run him again this week at least do a key so he continues to get gear and from there we'll see if he kind of progresses to getting up higher and higher and so let's jump into that thing that I was talking about that I did last week that I've actually was enjoying. And it's something new that I haven't done in years, probably since Warlords of Draenor was the last time I did this at any like level whatsoever that I actually even enjoyed. I've always played Horde and Horde always seems to get demolished. So if you guys remember a while back, I said I was going to get a Paladin leveled up to 80. So as you can see, this is the Paladin I originally wanted to do, right? Well, that never happened. I actually ended up getting this Paladin, my Dwarf, up to level 80 instead. So this Paladin I leveled on the weekend during the AWC. That's why I didn't stream because I was watching the AWC and leveling. So he's up to level 80 now and during that process we were doing some PvP once we hit level 80 and he's actually kind of decked out already. The Alliance seemed to just be unstoppable in Battlegrounds. Like I've had Battlegrounds where we uh, end up uh, for the like battlegrounds like the mining cart we just we own all of the objectives all the time we did i did an arathi basin we were actually behind at one point we were four to one cap and we came back and five capped them and then basically held that for a while then we had four to one and then three to one ended up winning it's just it's unreal how alliance kind of pulled together in pvp so i've been playing my paladin quite a bit and i've been collecting the pvp gear he's already got his weapon and his shield we've got our cape we've got our wrist we've got both our rings we've got our trinket like it's just it's insane and how much gear i'm able to acquire because i keep getting honor so he is going to be a holy paladin in pvp and i haven't healed in a while and it feels like i also really want to try him in mythic plus because this is the closest to bfa paladin i have experienced in a while and bfa to me was when i played holy paladin a little bit and i absolutely loved it having the holy shocks just come out there so often and they are like life's lifesavers then we also have eternal flame you can throw on people i absolutely love how holy paladin feels right now felt really good in pvp obviously that I can live. I'm using my defensives. I'm keeping people alive. I can play from a distance. It it's really cool. So I do plan on playing the Holy Paladin quite a bit more, both in PvP and I hope to maybe try him in Mythic Plus. The challenge I always have 
with this is trying to maintain three sets of gear one for you know pve one for pvp and probably one for tanking because that's just the way i roll right so that is what we're going to do on the paladin but let's quickly jump into the game here and we're going to go open his vault so my understanding is that you no longer get pvp gear in your vault i'm going to open this holy anyway i did run lfr just to see if i can get um some of the tier gear i wasn't so lucky so here we are this is what we get in lfr we have a spy masters we have a treacherous transmitter oh my god we have three, three trinkets no we only have two so those are kind of our options uh, let me see if either one of these trinkets is good for at least pve because i i know nothing about healing so don't judge me so apparently spy master is really good for holy paladins it's it's an a tier trinket i guess gale of shadows is the s tier that i want but you know what let's just it, i mean it's it's a significant upgrade so we're gonna take the spy masters on the paladin and we're gonna do more pvp on him absolutely this week i've had a lot of fun I, what the goal is with the paladin my brother is actually doing pvp as well he's a hunter we're gonna do some twos maybe maybe some threes in arena get some conquest points that's that will help me work towards the vicious saddles those are the mounts i still don't have so i'm really looking forward to that that is the plan on the holy paladin this week and this is something i haven't done since the warlords of granar and i'm really having a lot of fun cues were pretty good the paladin stayed alive well alliance is winning which is a welcome change compared to always playing horde so yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to that um so you may see some more footage of that outside uh during our regular streaming days um and then maybe you'll see him do some keys we'll see we'll see what what the paladin brings us in the future and a couple of final things we're going to talk about that we do every week. Mounts, 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 mounts. We got a couple mounts this week, and I am so excited. First of all, let's start with this one here. We got Billiter Spawn. We've been doing this every three hours, or as many three hours in a row as I can be doing it. And since the beginning of the expansion, we haven't gotten it. Well, here it is. We finally have Bellador's Spawn. I no longer have to run that one, so that means Lurker of the Deeps and Bellador are done. Here is that mount. It kind of basically looks like some of the Shadowlands Mythic Plus achievement mounts. Um, but here it is on my mage plus one to the mount collection with that and then as you guys know i have been farming under rot forever 450 plus runs that it has taken us to try to get the krog from under rot well of course i so excited because finally it happened i was in a conference call just kind of doing some stuff not really paying attention and midway through all of my runs we got it it was run 487 i was so excited i like i almost screamed on this conference call because I, it's over i no longer have, have to go back to underrod i can go do the uh upgrade pinnacle one hopefully i get that soon but underrod is done 487 runs i was so 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 happy and here it is here is the krog from underrod we have been trying to get this forever it is so ugly but we are going to use it because it's so ugly and it took us 487 runs i'm absolutely gonna run this mount it looks like something from star wars i love it i finally have it the blood stains on its hooves base the blood on its teeth it is just yeah this is this is the mount this is the ground mount that i'm gonna use just out of because of how long it took it's almost as bad as my my ice crown citadel attempts but we are done with that that is it for our mount collection and that is it for the real week for of dragonflight and yeah so what is this weekend look like we have raid of course we are back to two days only progging on brood tester our best pull i believe was 32 percent so we're getting there it still needs some work um i'm excited to actually get that boss down i think we can do that and then we can be five of eight mythic i was expecting some nerfs to it that didn't happen but that's okay uh, we're going to continue to run mythic plus on our death knight we're going to go to do tens across the board i do plan on getting the eight tens done that he needs for the week he doesn't really need eight but i want to do eight just for that high higher chance of better gear and then we'll probably play the warrior a little bit we'll probably play the holy paladin in pvp a little bit and that's really the plan we'll do some more farming and herbing and i'm still enjoying the game it's this is the first time in a while that by week four i'm already looking at playing alts and other things and for me my main is like get the mythic dungeons done and carry on to play other characters that has never happened before to me i'm usually like let's let's do mythic plus let's push mythic plus let's push mythic plus but it's so punishing and i still continue to deplete keys i'll show you guys the track sheet i do probably in a couple months like when we get closer to the end of the season so you can see what that looks like i've got some formulas i got to build into it but that is it for week four i'm looking forward to week five please let me know down in the comments how your week has been what was it like in your vault are you playing pvp have you started doing other things in the game and playing other alts let me know down in the comments below i hope you guys are having a fantastic week enjoy week five i'll see you guys in kazalgar or in mythic plus or in pvp peace out everybody